Hey, it's Matt with McGee Farms and have a little bit of a sad update about our winter garden. I had done a video or two about it. It was starting to kind of sprout a little bit, but this last uh, week we had a big winter storm come in here. Temperatures were like 17 below zero for almost a week. Uh, it's finally this morning up to about 25 degrees, which feels like a heat wave. And we'd had a couple storms come through, and uh, it had held up. I uh, had a couple up to almost 50 mile an hour winds, and it held up. Well, yeah, this storm, it was like 70, uh, 80 mile an hour winds. And the first one just completely collapsed. The... Uh, the clips came off uh, it just uh, it just went everywhere and I'd had a little bit of some sprouts coming up I'm guessing with it being down in the the cold probably probably died but I'm gonna get in there a little later this one held up a little bit better but as you can kind of see the PVC came loose in there in a couple of spots held up a little better I'm gonna try to put it back together but I'm gonna come up with a better plan for it and uh, probably, probably next summer, where I got more time out here, I've, I've got some ideas. I'm going to make one that's a little easier to get in and, uh, and all. But just kind of wanted to give an update. It, it worked good until we got about 80 mile an hour winds. But this does not hold up to 80 mile an hour winds, apparently. And kind of, kind of sad because I was kind of excited about the way that it had been growing. But stay tuned. We've got some additions to the garden as you can see i've got a frame partially uh built right now we're going to add some of that we're going to add some aquaphonics i think we're going to add uh, crawfish shrimp and probably some rainbow trout into the uh, garden this summer we're going to experiment with that and if it works out then uh, we're going to start doing it on a larger scale the next year but anyway just wanted to give an update Again, a little sad that it didn't work out, but that just means back to the drawing board and more things to figure out. It's Matt from McGee Farms. If you enjoy the videos, please consider giving us a thumbs up, subscribing to the channel, sharing it with your friends, or uh, watch it all the way through. When you watch the videos all the way through, it kind of helps with the algorithm on YouTube, and it puts us up there so they're suggested for more people. Till next time, have a great day.